Oh yeah, this is pretty shocking. So this is a report from this is a report from CBS New York, right? And I guess I guess what do I guess? I don't guess anything. Yeah, this is what I guess. So obviously I've been covering some, you know, troubling uh instances in dance music and in music in general concerning the treatment of women, right? And it's obviously opened my eyes to a lot of things that I didn't know was happening because I'm just oblivious to stuff. I'm just going out, number one, to listen to music, to watch DJs perform, to catch a vibe, have a dance, sweat it out, you know, make friends in toilets and go home, right? I'm not really looking too deeply into these situations, but obviously through like some of my experience promoting raves and people that I've spoken to and seen, I definitely know that there's an issue, right, that exists there with uh basically anyone that isn't male right they have an issue with how nightlife is basically um promoted how it works how they're treated um you know the spaces they're allowed to exist and not exist it's just an issue and i've kind of kind of come across well what what i've taken from this is that naturally it's just a kind of consequence of nightlife basically really right there's just it just attracts really ugly people right people that you probably wouldn't ever want to cross paths with in any way shape or form but unfortunately you know nightlife most of the times just you know uh pulls these people out and i then pulled and then i think i made reference to another topic about me just thinking oh there must be something about when it just goes dark outside that it brings out the devil in some people and it just you know they turn into monsters and then of course when you turn into a monster you look for weak targets right quote unquote and those weak targets are probably going to be women they're probably going to be people who maybe identify with the lgbtq community so it's no coincidence that those people are the most um, marginalized and attacked right when they come outside in that respect um and it's really abhorrent right there needs to be more attention brought towards there needs to be more safe spaces and things to be done i don't know what needs to be done but definitely there needs to be more attention kind of being shone on this issue and none more so than this really really tragic story which is obviously um i think hopefully gonna reach a happier conclusion because i read a report that one of the guys got arrested recently but a story from uh, cbs new york about a woman who basically went to go buy a bottle of wine late at night before she went to meet friends or something um gets uh accosted or sort of like spoken to by some guys in the bodega she politely turns them down and then you know subsequently they decide to assault her one of the people ends up biting on her forehead or some shit and she suffers some horrific you know physical and mental injuries all because she didn't want to engage them in their uh pursuit of talking to her in a you know relationshipy sexual manner whatever it may be and it's just a really really stark reminder as to the plight of women when they're outside at night like legitimately like this wouldn't happen to a dude of course in any way shape or form but you know like just imagine how scary that must be as a situation popping into your local bodega you know that you probably go to quite often right especially if you live in the area you have a couple of offices that you go to and off licenses and you place you go to her buy some stuff and you might even see these people these kids or these guys more often than not you feel like you have us in your little local area because you feel safe there they're not gonna do anything dumb here because you know you can spot pick them out instantly you'd imagine that right you'd think and then this situation happens so let's play the report of it and then obviously i'll give you my side of it as we continue the NYPD is looking for the men who allegedly attacked and robbed a woman trying to buy a bottle of wine in Harlem. CBS News' Lisa Rosner now with more for us this noon. Lisa? Well, Chris, this happened just before 6 p.m. Monday. Witnesses tell me the woman was alone in the store and being hit on by men inside. It was when she walked outside when the trouble started. Surveillance video shows two men walk inside chatting and laughing. Police say they started talking to a 31-year-old female customer looking to buy a bottle of wine. Police say she rejected their advances inside the store on West 128th Street near St. Nicholas Avenue. But when she walks out, you can see the two men follow and others also appear. Police say they kicked her multiple times and one even bit her on the forehead. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah. The intrusion. The intrusion, I, I mean, she wasn't doing anything no. but trying to buy something for herself. I heard the commotion, I heard all the screaming. So, because I live right around the corner. 
I saw the little blood on her face. Police say the victim suffered a bite mark with broken skin to her face, pain and bruising, and was taken to NYC Health and Hospitals Harlem in stable condition. Police say the men stole her iPhone 11 worth around 750 Jesus bucks Christ. and ran away. The incident is upsetting to people who frequent the area. If you ignore God, then they'll be like, you're rude. But it's just like you don't want to talk to them, so you keep walking. But then it shouldn't turn out to an altercation. I hope they find them. And, and they can have justice for the young lady, and I hope she's okay. This happened just before... It's obviously, you know, clearly an abhorrent crime, in it? And I don't know, man. What do we have to do? I guess raise better men, um, call out each other. Because, again, I, I, don't, I don't think this is a isolated incident for sure guys like this have done something similar maybe not to such an extreme um to others but it definitely is a question of if you're a dude and you have friends like this in your circle you definitely have to pull your friends up to the side and say hey that isn't cool um you have to you know maybe even break ties with people like this there's no uh, in my opinion personally there's no saving a guy there's a guy who thinks that it's an adequate response to decide to assault a young lady because she turns down your advances isn't somebody you can save in terms of changing their opinion on how they view women and you know um how they react to certain situations there's just something about these kind of uh nonsense dudes who just somehow feel as if women owe them a response owe them a conversation um they feel like entitled to be in the same space as people right it's just a very bizarre pov that i've never really truly understood i've seen it myself i've seen guys you know react very angrily when a girl turns them down and i know like as a dude right i know it can be a very embarrassing and somewhat uh it can be very embarrassing and emasculating experience when a woman turns you down because usually it's done either really kindly or it's done really abrasive so you can get the message and fuck off, right? That's usually women's two approaches, which is completely understandable, right? Because I guess if a woman's um, used to doing it the softly, softly approach and keeps getting rudeness back, she's just not going to cut you any slack. Like, go away, jump off a bridge. I'm never going to talk to you in a million years. Maybe worse than what I'm saying because women have a very great way of using um, short amount of words to really penetrate your soul so you clear the message clearly you know it's very rare that guys can say honestly that they don't know what's up with a certain girl you know what's up with certain girl when it comes to you because they've let you know unequivocally that they're not interested so if that's the case you just have to take the l and keep it moving and i think most guys who are um fluent in the language of seduction fluent in the language of attraction understand that there's very little you can do when somebody says no it's just a no right whether or not they come back next time and they say hey i've changed my mind take me young man it's another situation but in that moment once they've said no there's very little you can do to change their mind so you just take the l and you continue moving because the last thing you want is for more attention to be brought your way so people to realize hold on did he try to pick her and she didn't and now he's still standing there arguing you're gonna look like such a chump so you don't want to so it's mostly a shame thing you don't want to feel embarrassed so you just kind of run away or you make an excuse and leave or whatever it is that you do right you don't want to um, make the situation any more awkward and embarrassing than it is but i guess for some of these guys they probably don't have an aspect of shame it's more so they feel like they've been what their masculinity has been called into question or they have such an inflated sense of self that they generally they're generally taken aback when somebody shatters their reality and says you know what you're not that cute i'm not into you but still again angry response is one thing but then going to physically assault somebody again the angry response shouldn't even be excused because it's it's insane but people are dumb in it people are crazy people do crazy shit and they react in weird ways i you know whatever angry response shout scream say what you want oh you're not even cute anyway the standard trait okay yeah sure i'm not cute but you can't even speak to me but the going over to assault a young lady especially on her own is cowardly and extreme like what points are you regaining there so what they nicked her phone and then what's going to happen there like what are they high-fiving each other when they get back to their homes oh yeah look we really told that girl and she you know she tried to turn us down make it seem like she was better than us and we took her phone we really showed her like what are you doing and again guys from their look <laughs> There used to be a thing back in the day, right, where boys from the hood or boys from the ends, especially in the UK, you sort of took it upon yourself to look after people, right? Especially people that were actually on road doing bits, right? 
it was kind of um the gangster in you was that you looked after your local community right no one could come to your area and beat up your kid beat up the boys in your area beat up the girls in your area you took it as an affront and you'd go and seek those people out to get retribution right no one no one um was hurt in your area especially by your own people but i don't know what's changed in recent years where like you know these guys like take it upon themselves to take advantage of people that live in their own very community right you're meant to be making it a safe space for the people that live near you because you know what they're going through right you both live in the same buildings you both live in the same apartment blocks projects whatever it is you're going through the same struggle there should be some sort of thing bonding you together especially during this time you'd imagine isn't it but i don't know man maybe it's the starvation maybe it's a lack of stim stimulus checks whatever it is it's not not inexcusable and you know it's great to hear that i think the development is that one of the guys has been identified as pretty obvious who these guys are into to local residents in the area it's going to be a question of whether or not you know people can um muster up the courage to come forward and say stuff but hopefully the message has been received i think for the most part i think if you're somebody from their crew you're definitely not gonna want to co-sign that sort of behavior because it's not on again it doesn't matter what she did she could have spat on them she could have kicked them in the nuts like biting a woman and stealing her phone because she turned you down is never an adequate response in any way shape or form um and again another illustration and that th this is why sometimes i really find it funny when guys get offended when some girls are like oh um you know uh, they act really weird and spooked out and you know run off or go across the other road when a guy's walking behind her they don't know this is why you know people get offended and think oh yeah she's doing that because i'm black she's doing that because i'm a guy because i'm big blah, 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 blah. it's like nah mate she can't take any chances right she weighs like i don't know eight stone do you know what i mean like it legitimately if you decide to take her and do you know and do something heinous you could do it she has no recourse she can't really fight back so the only thing she can do is prevent that altercation from taking place and why should she take a chance and hope that you're a good guy she doesn't know who you are do you know what I mean that's the, that's the sad part of it it sort of kind of reaffirms every woman's worst fear that this could happen to them and again um hope the girl gets better very soon tragic story but again um the latest news so far is one of the dudes have been caught hopefully more get caught in the coming days and we can kind of put that situation to bed because no one wants to see that sort of stuff man it's just it's just terrible and it? it's just really, really terrible